The Nismo performance line has been around for decades as Nissan's motorsports arm, but it's only in the last year or so that the brand has introduced it to the UK lineup. First to get the Nismo treatment was the Duke, followed by this 370Z, and the GTR is coming too. This 3.6 litre V6 is never going to sell in huge numbers, but there's no question that it's very, very cool. And what better place to enjoy it than the stunning Peak District? This car is all about meaty looks, from the haunches of the bonnet to the proud wheel arches and 19-inch alloys, all of which make this seem like a stocky little fighting machine. It's far more dramatic than the standard 370Z with Nismo styling, including the logo, dual exhaust and a rather flashy looking spoiler, which does rear visibility no favours. These types of Japanese performance line cars are never particularly lush on the inside. Plastics aren't bad here, but the infotainment system and controls have been knocking around in Nissan's for a while and look dated. The hard suspension doesn't make for a comfortable ride either, and despite its compact looks, the outside angles and that rear spoiler means it's quite hard to see what's going on around you. Spec is decent, but then again it needs to be at this price, with a Bose sound system, sat-nav and iPod connectivity. I also really like this leather and Alcantara steering wheel when driving. This rear-wheel drive Nismo is the most powerful in the two-seaters lineup, but barely offers any more power, especially considering the extra dosh. It's a 3.7 litre V6 with 339 brake horsepower. That's just 16 brake horsepower more than the average 370Z. That means it achieves 62 miles per hour in 5.2 seconds, which is a smidgen 0.1 seconds faster than the standard version. Still, in the low gears it's certainly fun for straight line acceleration, but get above fourth gear and not much happens. Anyone choosing this model is most likely to be interested in its styling, because despite being the Performance 370Z model, it doesn't have a massive edge over its considerably cheaper standard version. It's certainly an attention-seeking car and will attract fast and furious type fans. But serious driving enthusiasts with this kind of money will opt for the far better BMW Z4 or Porsche Boxster.